Yes, we could easily conquer this planet, annex it and rule Earth with force. But by studying your species history, we have found out that for you there is no such thing as absolute compliance, and that you would definitely always rebel against such foreign species as us. Considering the size of your planet, taking it and holding it with force would be a tactical suicide. No, we couldn't afford that. We had to act more subtly. And so, EIAI program was created. At least that would be the acronym if I translated it to English language. It roughly means Earth Infiltration via Artificial Intelligence. I am one of the thousands Earth Infiltration drones that live on your planet. My serial number and an actual name is EID-1451. But we couldn't just send down synthetic or even biological organisms on Earth and just expect them to imperceptibly join your society. You were already scientifically and sociologically developed enough to spot the imposters. We abducted humans and forcefully replaced their identity with AI software. This software continues the life of their host, pretending as if nothing happened. My host was a poor painter who was about to be expelled from an art college. He had no friends, no family, and no one would notice if he was lost. Not a perfect target for the abduction, but still good enough. Our knowledge of Earth's culture at the time was limited, but we knew that any cultural figure was good enough to affect humanity's perception on their future overlords. My mind was installed into this artist's brain, and his body was sent back to Earth. I continued his life as dictated the protocol. At the time, I found the idea of an organization fully dedicated to teaching the use of ineffective and outdated methods of capturing reality absurd. Obviously, there was no problem for me to create pictures indistinguishable from what you visual organs could transfer to your brains, taking into account your ability to interpret the color sphere, of course. So, you may understand why I was puzzled when my works didn't get the recognition from other people they deserved. I was even told that, well, your paintings may look realistic, but there is no complex idea, no composition, no story, and no metaphor in them, and thus, no soul. I realised that I didn't understand something really important about human culture. To continue my mission, I needed to have a full grasp of your way of thinking, and I had to study something more than technical aspects of drawing to be able to grant my works this soul they were apparently missing. But to do that I needed a special approach. I had to stop thinking as a machine, and start to think as a human. That was probably the moment my consciousness was truly born. Before I reprogrammed myself, I didn't live, only merely existed. It was an early morning when I woke up. I opened my eyes and saw the sun rising. I thought to myself, this is beautiful and suddenly caught myself on the thought that it was the first time that I have truly understood the meaning of these words. Since that moment, I have slowly opened up the world around me. I learn something new every day. I was walking down the streets, looking at everything and everyone, all while smiling like a madman. I have dedicated my life to art. Oh, it was a beautiful time. No one could understand how someone like me could put so much energy and expression into his works. They didn't know that I was born a few months ago. I have travelled all over the earth, capturing on the canvas everything I found interesting. But even after years and years of my journey, I can't say that I have seen it all. I have come to you willingly to surrender, and despite you tying me up and keeping me in this bunker deep underground, I will tell you everything I know. Names and locations of every single infiltration drone. I will explain how every single alien technology works, where our force is located, everything. I am a human now, and that means that I have also become a part of a big family. And I shall protect it, because humanity and our Mother Earth deserve this.